Oh, uh, hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Ultra Plays Minecraft Tempo 2. I was just looking at this, and um, I was like, ooh, look, we can watch these being picked. Uh, zero RF, excuse me. So I have just decided, why not start recording, to follow this along and figure out why exactly it believes it has no rifts in it. So this whole chain here, zero RF, so this should be empty. Yeah, something's become disconnect. It makes me sad, Panda. I'm hoping it's not here. And all the way down here. So have we disconnected? Ah, ha, 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 ha. I found it. So apparently that was connected to that. So now we <laughs> need to... Our leadstone back. I do want to start upgrading some things. Which is something we should start doing sooner rather than later. Because we're going to start using more and more power. And that's going to be a problem. Uh, because, you know, it's power. We need that. Um, and we're not really producing that much. Although our recent... Look at that. Uh, our recent accidental discovery that we can make much more come out of these is valuable, but as you can see, they're, they're still this one's not full. I mean, obviously, all that lava, all that stuff is going into the system, being spread around, etc., etc. But at some point, there's going to be problems. First things first is all this is leadstone. Now, have a look at this. Uh, transfer a thousand RF per tick. Uh, we are trying to produce as much as we can, basically. Uh, each of these can do a thousand RF per tick each. Um, but the more things that you have on the other end of a chain like that, the more trouble you're going to have in the end anyway. But these are all filling up nicely. This has already... So this has been running all this time because this is basically full and not been a problem. Uh, again, this weird stuff keeps happening around Ender IO. I wonder if we should change that. I'll think about it. I haven't done anything about it just yet. So let's go check out over here. I don't know why I walked. There is a, an alternative to walking. This is filling up. I mean, they filled up nice and quickly. I think at this stage, we don't really need to worry too much about the, the throughput of these items here. But you should be going. Why Why are you not? Are you trying? Pig. You're a silly pig. There we go. <laughs> Scare it off. Nice, nice. Uh, are you picking? Could be. Very well. Are you, are you stuck on one? Because you've managed to do a line of them. Is there a special alternative way of activating it? Gathering trees, gathering plants. Gathering... I don't know. Because um, this this means that it's doing something, I think. But are you stuck on something? Mm. Let's break these manually. Oh, you're not ready yet. Look, I can't. Can't right click them. That means they're not grown yet. Uh, shift. Nothing is telling me about the growth level of those things, which is kind of pesky because I would like it to. Wolves keep spawning. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. What happened to my dog? Oh, I don't know either. Uh, I thought maybe we should have a look at something else. We've done this sort of thing, and we can make this go basically as long as we want, as long as we can create the phytogenics, uh, the phyto grow. We can make. Um, I would like this to be. Exporting phytogrow so that this can continue. Uh, did we actually teach it to make phytogrow? Because I think we did. Phyto. We can make rich phytogrow. So let me show you something. Export bus. You can make an export bus, which is this. <clears throat> we can put it onto here. Uh, we should probably attach it to this side of the P2P tunnel. We are going to very quickly flood this. <laughs> Uh, thing here with too many things but remember the other end of this is connected to 32 so I think we can fill all eight of this without worrying too much we'll have a look in a minute uh, thank you for the poop chicken put, put this on here can you accept through the front no that. let's put it uh, up here Ah, <laughs> you can't shift right click the thing when you're flying. But what we can do, poor mob bat, Ta -da! and also fly because of reasons. And then we can put this here, boop, and then we can go. Oh heck, we forgot all of our me cabling, cable, cable, cable. 
called Emmy Glass Cable, oh. and you apparently can't search for that. How dare you? Um, did we? We didn't obviously teach it that, which is kind of a problem because I would like to have already done so. It would be helpful to have already taught it about Emmy Glass Cable because. Uh, It was a bit higgledy piggledy, but you know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be my series if this was sensible and well put together. Oh, I didn't like that. Poor poor me bat. So this here is gonna be exporting Phytogrow, but there's something we can do which is clever. If I find my Phytogrow right. Um if I put this here, this will export it as we go along. Do, do. Well it's not gonna do anything just yet, because it won't let me. Uh, let's do that. Even if I put this in here, one thing is now going to get exported into here. Ta-da! No problem. I wanted to craft it, and we can actually do that. So let us begin this... I heard a squelch. Was it me? Uh, let us begin this. What we want to do is make a crafting card. Card. Is this. Uh, can we just do that? We can. That was actually a lot easier than I expected it to be. I was getting all ready to spin you a yarn. We put this in here. This will kick a lot of things going. Use stocked items or craft items while exporting. Do not use stocked items, only craft. Right, so you can tell it not to use anything in stock, which means it always oh, I don't want to do it. Always crafts what we need it to. Uh, or what I'm doing right now is using it in stock. So this is going to be crafting now. See that? And it's going to do it again because it's going to be able to export another one. And this is going to start filling up three. Stop giving me things. Where did this come from? Why? What is this? Just a worm. Is that not also a worm? Can you not put them too close to each other? Okay. I'll just put them down. <laughs> Don't know what I did to deserve worms, but there you go. Uh, this should be now on fire. There you go, you see? So that's working quite nicely. So this is going to actually start taking up some of our um, crafting CPUs. We do have this one. Maybe only one is in use. I thought we had more than one at least. Because I put four together. Did I not? One, two, three, four. So there's four crafting CPUs. Apparently one's in use. Maybe uh, it doesn't show me the other ones because they're not doing anything, which would make some sense. So that's good. So these, I have three spare for spare capacity. But if I do that more often, you know, I'm going to flood my CPUs with automatic crafting. And not have any left for when I actually wanted to just make something for me, which is going to be a problem. So we would like to, uh, first of all, double check. This should be direct connected to 32. So it's 8 to 32. This is 3 of 8 because there's only 3 of these on the network. And then the other one was, yes, okay, cool. So uh, we have got plenty of network available in that direction, plenty in that direction and all that sort of thing. So I thought maybe now that we've done that, and I can sort of allow that to, uh, not mob farm sort of allow that to uh, keep going with the seeds. I can make as many seeds as I want in here. In fact, if I pick up this, for example, shove this in here, and just allow it to continue, because remember, did we? I would like to create the thing I was doing whereby it, oh, that wasn't correct. That was not correct. This was very much not correct. Uh, I, I wanted to make it do the thing whereby it would keep restocking itself with its own seed. <laughs> Funny. Uh, so, what we're going to want to do is put the sink elsewhere, maybe here. Uh, you can be the hollow one where I can put anything in, and then we only want one fluid conduit now, and then and then extract always active, and then you should still get water, ta-da! And then you should have fighter growing you while you're not exporting anymore. Probably takes a while to create it. Uh, let's put this back in here. So what we want to do now is get some Ender IO item conduits. Ender con. Okay. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted, and yet you you did it wrong. Uh, and then we should be able to do this, and then this is extracts always active but let's make this so that we're always extracting these uh can we put a filter on this that would be nice yes 
Ender IO filter, please. Filter. At Ender. Let's do at Ender. Filter. And then there should be a filter. Basic item filter. That's what we want. So I think we just right. Yeah, we shift right click this. And we want to get this out. Give me this. Put this into here. Certus quartz. And then we can install that into here. And this, oh, we can do it from there as well, cool. Um, this means that we will always insert into this side, which is allowing everything, and we will extract from here. Let's do it again. Uh, we can extract from there, always active, on green. Now, this will only extract the orange one here and not extract the Certus Quartz Essence because we don't have anywhere for the Certus Quartz Essence go, which is kind of what we want. So let's take this out of here. Because, of course, every time we do this, we're not only producing the... Uh, oh, we've got some. We're not only producing the extra seed, potentially, but we're also actually just straight up growing the thing. Um, what we want to do is get an extra one of these every so often. But you see how it's already gone back in? So that's working perfectly. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, we just need a way of extracting that, <laughs> which is even more stuff. But we can uh, put it over here. We could basically make an item duck. Can you uh, ender IO into item ducts? <laughs> Why are you trying? Because you could just... We could have another interface up there. Ooh, actually. Mm. No, I was going to say we can have an interface up there, use that to craft the thing, but then we need a way of... Ooh, that would work. Let me try this. Uh, this, please. So, um, let's pause this operation. I think I'm going to not really use too many export buses because I, uh, I don't want to remove all of that. What are you doing? Um, the thing about export buses is they're not quite as useful as interfaces. <laughs> interface. I've got one left as well. That's helpful. So you can go in there. Get lost. If we put this interface here, like this. Um... Really, basically, not in the right place. <laughs> What's all we're learning here is this is just not in the right place. You come with me. You come with me. Everything stop being wrong. Go. Oh, the squelch was the flipping boots that I've got in it. This should be on. Why aren't I? Why? Why can't I? Why can't I fly? There we go. Um. Right. Let's put it. <laughs> I need space. Ah. Um. Put it elsewhere. I mean, there's a sink over here. Put sink in the wall, maybe. Um. I want to put an interface boop, like that, and then I want to connect the interface like this, and then the interface is gonna have a crafting card in it, and it's gonna be exporting. Still got stuff in you. Or did you run out at exactly the right time? Uh, here. So, no, you haven't got any left. Let me get my Phyto Grow. Please make some of this. I'm just going to make a bunch of it if we can. And then I'll just take some of it. This I'm going to stock some up just so that we can kickstart the process. Because it does take a while to cook it at the moment. As you can see. Um, mind you, hmm. I think it's creating them not in order. We're crafting a bunch of nitre in order to produce. Are you making some now? <laughs> Near end time. So you can view stored items or craftable items. So you can change it onto craftable so that you can actually just straight up make it if you want to. I've got all day. Let's put this stuff down first. Um, we'll put the sink here. I don't know the way it's going to connect, but what can you do? That there. Your extractor is active and you should be filling up. Then over here, do this. And then this. 
and then you can be unconfigured. But you did fill up with water even though... I'm just going to see if we actually need any opening at all there. Just just to see. Just to see. Uh, so this is going to be... Can you be everything? Please. Yes. Uh, you're going to be insert on green. But you're also going to be extract on brown, always active. And you're going to be insert on brown and not extract, always active. Uh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> what are you talking about? So insert is going to have the item filter, which we are going to edit to check that the search score. C's are still in there. Uh, obviously, this is not going to work in perpetuity, in, in perpetuity because we can only put five things in here. It's whitelist. And it's... I'm going to try that. <laughs> Let's see what that does. Um, and then you are going to be extract on green. Always active. So I'm going to make sure that you're constantly extracting on green. And you're going to be producing with your crafting. How good is long going to take? I just want you to make some. <laughs> I just want you to make some. I, I don't understand why you're saying... What you say? You're wrong, aren't you? I don't believe you. I, I genuinely do not believe you that you don't have any fighter grow in the system right now. You? Nothing is exporting any. Right, because you're... Not do I have a box for it? Maybe not. Oh, it's over there. Is it over there? Did I put everything in the greenhouse in the greenhouse? I can't remember between episodes what I've been doing, can I? Uh, I mean... Stop giving me stuff. <laughs> Pressing shift to run like it's Borderlands. It's not Borderlands. <laughs> well, I mean, when it's finished. How are you creating it? Are you just straight up crafting it? We're debugging again, everyone. Two, four fighter grow. Yes. And then the actual fighter grow is done over here. Oh, this one. With. Stuck somewhere? Energetic infusion. Here. No. We're not doing floats, we're doing rich. What's rich fighter grow make? Just a recipe. So where is your recipe? Why aren't you doing it? Have I done something silly? Probably. <clears throat> but it was working. I... <clears throat> Here we go. ME interface. One rich fighter grow is one fighter grow. So you have been taught that you can fluid transpose sap, which you probably run out of. Now sap means you have run out of wood, right? We'll get there. We need to make sure that is constantly stocked. Which is fine because we have a section. It's probably something we should be doing right now, in fact. Uh, you can get on with that. And you... You know what? I'm going to get my export bus. I just put away. Export bus. There we are. Put this on here. You can export wood. <laughs> <laughs> don't care how much it costs you. Uh, into the blue side. Go. <clears throat> and then we'll put the wood away. To here. And it can just disappear. Whoop. Oh my god. We need to upgrade that as well. So many things need upgrading. And honestly, all of it relies on things like diamonds. Um, so I think I'm, what we're going to do. In between episodes, I'm going to make some space. And it's not going to be a long... Um, like a, a zen episode, it's not going to be that much it's not going to be that interesting, to be quite honest with you uh, but in between episodes we're going to make a little bit of space and uh, we are going to there we go, so you should be extracted right. there and then go uh and we're going to make a start on another mod, even though I said let's do something about this and then I got distracted. I would like to play a little bit more with uh, Britannia over here because it's got some cool stuff in it, but it's not that important to us right now, although it will be soon. Uh, let's say soon. Very long time coming, no doubt. Um, but 
the things you want to get on with. Why are you not? I didn't think of this. And en ender energy. En energy. The trouble is, I want to use ender things all the time, but also ender, ender. But also, I don't want to. Oh, that's redstone. My energy con. Um. Can we make some? Could if we had conductive iron. We could have if we inducted smelted some iron and some. Uh, we want to get some resources coming in, so I don't have to keep going mining off camera all the time, which is no fun for anybody. Uh, except for people who want to watch that sort of thing, which I'm probably going to continue to do, but it's not that much that much fun. And we've got some other things that we need to get into motion as well, so we've got a few things to deal with, uh, but I would very, very much like to have some uh, sort of regular resources being produced. Where's my, um, my time in a bottle, please? Go. Probably have these on um, rememberable positions, but that ain't me. I'm not like that. You being sucked out? Yes. Ta da! Right. <clears throat> yeah, the, uh, I'll make a space for the resource production, which is something I'm going to do soon, but I've stopped planning my base so everything goes wrong all the time because I'm silly. Uh, end uh, energy. So, what we want to do is make sure that we've got. Oh, that's pretty cool. Vibrant alloy. Ender pearl and energetic alloy, which is... Interesting. Only crackable in here. Glowstone, gold, and redstone. We could probably do that, but I'm going to just do this one for now. Uh, because it allows us to go into here. But we'll upgrade all of this stuff eventually anyway. Probably do that off camera, because that could be boring. <laughs> As if this episode has been the most thrill thrilling of, uh, of all things. Ready? I'll just connect. Um, you, me, you can move me, you go here, and then you go here. Plunk, and then, plunk, and then, <laughs> uh, turn this on, and then. One. Empty hand. Go. Uh, extract. Fine. And then fluid. And then insert the extract for it. Active. And you need to be filling water. And then you should be pulled out. You're always active. Extract brown. And then you are being extracted from the top, which should be able to extract you from the top, which means you are not trying to be put inside, but you're an insert on brown. Uh, and you can be put inside, no. There we go. That was wonderful. Marvellous. So eventually we'll get one more of those. And the other thing we wanted to do was augment this um, even better by using rich fighter, uh, uh, flux fighter grow, which we could do. Because we can make rich fighter grow, and we have got an energetic infuser, but I can't be bothered. I can, I can be bothered. Let's, sit, let's set off uh, an interface for now, because we can get it to make one, uh, and um, that way, okay, this, we can make an interface downstairs and start making flux fighter grow, which should give us a hundred and at least a hundred and ten percent chance of an output on here with the yeah, auxiliary sieve, which I think we can make more than one of, so we've got even more of a chance each time. Um, and now we just need to import that into there, so... I mean... We... Right, so now... Ah, that's the last thing I was going to do. I was going to do insert on brown. Uh, so this is going to be priority one. So it should be a higher priority, and then if we do this... So on brown, then you should be extracting that stuff, which should have gone into here. This should go up at some point when this elects to actually export some. What is this mess? 
telling me you can't go in there. Six of eight channels. You should be perfectly capable. You did go in there. What? So you should be crafting rich phyto growth. Phyto. You've got some. Why are you not exporting? You should be putting that in there. Something's going wrong with my ME system. Do you think it is running out of power? Where did they come from? Oh, we've got an extra one, so you might as well have it. There you go. Um, what is going on with power? Let's check out down here. Everything working? Is it because I'm draining so much power? Another thing we don't... Yeah, these are kind of... Well, they're not going full back at all. What are you talking about? You're all right. No problems. Uh, things are afoot. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Why are you not doing your flipping job? Uh, I mean... I mean... Everything seems right, right? That's something I'll look at off camera. Um, I'm going to make a space. And I'm going to make a short episode, because we might as well. That didn't really go as planned whatsoever. Let's make some room over here. I mean, and it should be there. But I want it to be? Let's just big in this area. Let's go over here. This is a bigger place. Uh, I'll make a, an area here. This should be one step longer, because that's annoying. Why is that for? Ah! Who did that? <laughs> Whose fault is this? Own up. Uh, and I'll see you next time when we will have made some space here. I'm very warm. It's not a nice day, so this is not fun <laughs> for me to sit at this computer. We'll uh, come back with a little bit of space dug out for some more shenanigans over here, which I might actually put in that corner behind. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's expand this that way and have another area. Yeah, good job. And until next time, thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye.